Hello everybody, I am Red from the Senwell Robots crew, and welcome back to Space Engineers. So, it has been some time since I have done an update video for Space Engineers, primarily because they went into a uh, freezing point where they weren't adding new features or anything else, they were just adding in uh, update fixes and whatnot, which is a great idea. Love it, fantastic, so happy they did. But this is a very special update because, one, this is update 100 since they released Space Engineers. Oh, getting a little bit of lag there. Um, yeah, this is update 100, and they included two new things, which is pirate bases and attack drones. So you can see this drone is just being an asshole right now, and if I copy my ship in, he'll actually go for the ship. Maybe I can get closer to him? Maybe? Maybe? Come on. So as you can see, I mean, this ship right here is actually, um, this is an attack drone. It has the big Gatling gun on it and everything like that. It's like a just randomly made one. It's really cool. Uh, I'm really, I, actually, I was really surprised, because it just kind of came out of nowhere, I didn't see it coming, I had, like, a lot of stuff off, and then it just randomly generated, um, the attack drone, as you can see, there's a point over there that says, like, incisor, you know, trespassers, informant, and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna fly over there, hopefully I can get over there, but it's nice, because they included, um, like I said, this is actually creating a, like, danger system now, so there's actually a reason to kind of be concerned about where you're going out in the universe now, or the galaxy, because you got shit like that chasing you. Like, go away. Fuck off. Which is really exciting. Uh, it's a good update for a 100th update, especially since, like I said, it's been in a turmoil, it's been in a freeze right now, where everything they've been doing has been trying to fix, update, maintain, uh, really just do the bugs, fix the bugs up. And it's, it's really cool that that's, that's where we're at. Oh, God, what am I doing? Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, jeez. So we're coming up to whatever this is. Uh, so we're going to check this out. I'm really happy that they are fixing up the bugs and they're changing all that stuff. Uh, because this, as they tease later on, I'll put some screenshots, screenshots in as well and a little bit of teaser video of what they did. It's actually um, just more stuff about planets, which is really exciting. Do you even have your weapons up? You don't even have any of your weapons. You're killing me right now. There we go. Yeah, it, it's pretty exciting to see that's what's coming up, is, like, planets are indeed still high on the list. Um, anything else that they're doing, I mean, they need to get that multiplayer really worked out, make it look good, flesh it out and whatnot, but this is a good start to kind of give you more of that uh, feeling of something hunting you out in the in the wilderness of this, I would say. It's not really the wilderness, but out in the depths of space, there's actually something out there, like, conflicting against you, and you're going to have to build defenses to fight it off and keep yourself alive and really survive now, rather than just doing the straight survival, which is Minecraft... Eh, not minecraft because even then, they had, like, you know, things to fight. It was a lot... It, it's just a lot of uh, trying to get through... Uh, just the basic survivals, like making sure you have enough materials, building a ship, flying off into the space, having fun, uh, doing things like that, but it was a lot of building rather than straight, um, surviving, and don't get me wrong, it's a great way to go considering it's a game mainly about building and constructing ships of massive proportions and everything like that, but those ships have to have some sort of purpose, I mean, we all create ships and things like that, like, I mean, I personally have created uh, several ships that are just, like, you know, carrying people around or, like, traversing solar systems and doing all kinds of fun stuff like that. And now it's going to have a reason. It's going to have a purpose. Ooh, here we go. Here it is. Oh, God. Oh, man, this thing is huge. Whoa, that is a giant... That is a pirate base. So, yeah, here's a pirate base. This is one of those things where... Um... Oh, God, I only have one gun. Oh, man. Technically, I have two guns. Oh, I have no guns. I have nothing. Oh, we're going to... Oh, God. Nice. Yeah, we're going to go over to this pirate base real quick. As you can see, those two drones actually chased me the entire way. What a bunch of assholes. Let's see you fight that. And you fight this. And you can go die. Oh, God. 
Did I not turn my dampeners on? Dampeners are on. Ah! Fight that. What is happening? Go the direction in which I need you to go. We need to go check out this base. It's flying around garbage. Uh, done. Gotcha. Totally got rid of your guns. What is happening? Who's pushing me? You. Eh, little bicho. I will get rid of you. Done. Big pain in my ass. So yeah, here. This is uh, this is the pirate base. As you can see, it has windows, everything like that. Ah, I forgot about those. All right. Well, now since we've gotten in here finally, we're able to take a look around. This is actually pretty. I mean, it's pretty bare minimum. There's a med bay. There's oxygen tanks. There's an oxygen generator. Uh, two cryopods. An assembler. Batteries. Nuclear reactors. Very cool. Um, another assembler. Big ass cargo container. Is there a refinery in here? Cargo container. Oxygen, oxygen. So it looks like this is a good, like, this is literally a good waypoint. This is a good stopping place. Uh, as you can see, this is like pirate TV or some shit like that. And now you're looking out here. It's got a good view. There's another one of those drones hanging out there. Bastards. This looks really cool. This is really nice. I, I could see why this is a very valuable target to take. Because if you take this, you have a nice little outpost just hanging out there. Uh, something very angry, too. Oh. Oh, God. It's so angry. It's so angry. But the nice thing is that the Gatling turrets are smart, so they don't shoot their own ships. Aha! But yeah, I mean, this was the biggest thing they did for the update change. There is another thing, and I'm going to jump to that now. It's actually involved with the autopilot update. Um, they have changed autopilot, or at least they've made it better. And I will give you a demonstration of how they did that right now. All right, so welcome back to this portion. Uh, like I said, this is about the autopilot. So the autopilot's actually gotten a nice little update. As you can see right here, it does have an extra button now. So there was precision, precision mode before, which gave us the ability to precisely get from point A to point B. Now you have collision avoidance. So this is actually designed so that if you auto, if you do make a remote controlled object and you click this on, it's actually going to avoid whatever's in its path rather than a kamikaze drone. It's actually gonna fly like a real drone. So we're actually going to activate this right now. What is that? Three. So now it's set on a course. It's going to fly, and then it's going to try to get to point two as fast as possible. Let's see. It's going to register the collision. So see, it's, it's trying to figure itself out. It's, you know, going for everything. Oh, look. It's, it's aiming correctly. Like, it's going for it. Oh, is it? I don't know what it's doing. What are you doing? Okay. Well, apparently we're in a spin. I don't know what it's doing. Let's see if we can get it to go patrol. Off. Try this again. All right, so it should be aiming for the second position, but it's trying to avoid the collision. I don't... I'm confused. Hmm. Well, now it just looks stupid. All right, let's send it back on its way. Let's try this again. Gonna fly out here. Now we're gonna send it back. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn precision mode off. Alright, hopefully that'll help. Now that it's not in precision mode, it'll actually try to fly to its destination. Yeah, here we go. So it's gonna go for it. Let's see if the collision. So the collision is now registering that there's something in the way. So it's gonna try to figure out. Oh, it can't. It doesn't know what to do. Oh, there it goes. And see, here it goes. It's trying to find its way around. It's like using... It's not very fast, of course, but it's trying to figure out how to get around the red ship in order to get... Oh, and it's going slow. It's taking its time. It's... I mean, again, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's, it is avoiding the red ship altogether. 
It's trying to avoid hitting him, so it made quite a berth. It's qu going quite a distance. And now it's going to try to kick into full throttle again to get back to point two. So it goes around red ship completely, which is really cool. Wow, they did a really good job. I mean, that thing was going to go pretty fast as well. And there it goes. Yeah, so now that it has successfully navigated around the red ship, it is now heading towards the second point, which is pretty freaking sweet. It did a really good job. Again, it was really slow. But again, that's all it was always supposed to do. It was just supposed to get around the red ship. It didn't have to actually try to go any harder or any faster. And here it goes again, trying to go around. But those are the biggest things for this update. Everything else was more bug fixes, more improvements, trying to get this game into working order as planets. Um are getting getting closer and closer to being something that we will experience. Um, like I said, I will cut now to images of the, the planets. You will see them now. Uh, images of planets, video of what they have going on so far. Very interesting stuff. I'm super excited. But uh, thank you all for joining me on this one. I am Red from the Send More Robots crew. And as always, guys, remember who you are and what you are. Don't go causing any trouble out there in that crazy, crazy universe. And always remember... Don't put on precision mode when you're trying to make sure that collision stuff works, because apparently you start to do circles and you tumble around. It's real crazy. Nobody knows. Bye, guys!